I just came back from school and obviously I do not feel like doing any schoolwork, so I'm doing a video. Basically, it's a makeup tutorial because I feel like putting more stuff on my face and, uh, you know, going with it. If you really think about it, foundation is just skin colored face paint that you put on your face on your daily on a daily basis and no one questions it why does no one question it i'm starting off with a primer i don't, actually don't need a primer however i always do this who knows why i actually already have my eyebrows on <laughs> simply because as i said i just came from school and i didn't feel like taking them off since you know why take off something that's good? And now I look like I just tomatoed myself. Sweet! So for this tutorial, as opposed to what I normally do, I'm actually going to be using foundation. Um, you might know that I personally hate foundation because I said it's literally, it's kind of like face paint. And to me that really does not sit well because to put a sort of an, a, a colored substance on my face and leave it on, for quite a number of hours that just doesn't really make sense to me um i am aware that this is not for everyone since i know some people really struggle with clear skin i myself feel pretty lucky that i have decent skin so that is why i usually just avoid foundation however today i'm going to be using it simply because i am trying out the very first stick foundation i have ever tried this thing was just under 20 euros by nyx this is also by nyx and it's the hg studio photogenic foundation whatever this has six times the amount of product this does however this was more expensive <laughs> i'm hoping this could do miracle work because otherwise i just threw my money out the window I have no idea how much I'm supposed to use of this. There's literally, this is all the product that comes. I'm gonna use this in three weeks. <laughs> Ooh, shapes. I look kind of interesting. Okay, so let me just tell you my little Maltese crisis. So I go to a public school across the island. So Malta is a really tiny island. If I am not mistaken, I might be, my Maltese geography is not the best. However, if I'm not mistaken, the entire island is 28 kilometers in length. And I go from this side of the island to this side, covering roughly 20 kilometers every morning and then back. Now, the journey should technically only be an hour and 15 minutes. 30 minutes when it's traffic, but that's not how it works in Malta now, is it? No. This morning, I woke up at 5.30, caught the bus at 6.15, 6.20, because it was late. And, uh, you know, we're just going, the bus, you know, doing our thing. When all of a sudden, we just stop. Why do we stop? Because there is traffic. Not eight kilometers into my 20 kilometer journey, the entire bus stops not because there's any problem but simply because there's traffic you might be thinking that's normal however from that point forward till the rest of my 12 kilometers there was traffic the whole island is just car after car after car in every single road and village and countryside that there possibly could have existed now, I don't drive yet, obviously. I'm 17, so I don't have a license, nor do I particularly want one, since the way Maltese people think is that the bus system is really unreliable, which I agree with. It is really, really, really bad. And it's an unpleasant experience, and it's either too hot on the bus or too cold, or it's too crowded or it's too loud. So generally, it's, it's a pretty shit experience. On the bus that doesn't mean that the only other option is getting a car since now every single 18 year old that i know is immediately like oh my god i have to get a car to get around now might i remind you the island is a very small island now if every single 18 year old wants to purchase a car and drive that car every morning from their place to their destination there is going to be chaos and there already is which is why my one hour 15 minute journey took me three hours and from six i got to my class at nine which started at eight do you get my frustration and problems 
this foundation actually blends really nicely into my skin. Well done, NYX. I still don't think it was worth it for the amount of product that I purchased, but uh, whatever. Frustration. So in reality, the only option that I have in order to get to wherever I want to in time is simply to catch a bus at 5 a.m. But because I'm Stella and I will stand for my grounds, I am not going to do that shit. So I'm going to walk into my 8 a.m. lecture at 8.30 because I don't give a shit. <sighs> so I'm going to start off by adding this color on my lid in a very abstract sort of a shape. Amazing, I look like I have pink eye. Next, I'm going to go in with this, I think actually uh, these two colors and adding those in the very corner of my eye to that area. Next, I'm going in with the darkest color and going to add it into my crease in the same shape kind of as where I added the top, just in a smaller radius. And I'm going to be using first this brush, this pencil brush, and then blending it out with a fluffier brush. Interesting. I actually think I'm going to add some black very lightly. Next, what I really wanted to do is I'm going to add this bronzy color all over my lid or where I left empty with a flat eyeshadow brush, a flat packing sort of eyeshadow brush. Ooh, how sparkly. And then actually with this fluffy brush, I'm adding more of that taupe color just around the eye just to completely blend it in. I'm taking my NYX liquid black liner and I'm gonna add I think not a not a very big eyeliner. So I'll try anyway to not have a big eyeliner. <sighs> I managed. Okay guys, I didn't fuck it up. It's cool. Curling the lashes. Mascara. Now, I probably should have done this before applying mascara, but one of the things, one of the most recent things that I've purchased that I really wanted to try out is this eyeliner by Maybelline and it's from their the Nudes collection and it is called Brownie Glitz. It's this gorgeous brownish bronze eyeliner that I think looks stunning. There, it just kind of darkens up the entire look. Ooh. God, I love highlighter. Oh my god. I have problems. To finish off for lips, I'm going to be going in with three different products. Max Factors uh, Mauve Mistress Lip Liner. Then I'm going to be going in with my latest purchase from NYX. It's the Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the color Embellishment. It is a gorgeous purple mauve lavender color. I'm gonna add that everywhere. And then just in the center, I'm going to go in with NYX's um, Bruised Lipstick. It is a very, very gorgeous, super dark plum purple color. And I'm just gonna add that in the very center of my lips to add that kind of a gradient vampire-esque vibe. I feel very Kylie Jenner-esque with this wig and this headband bandana type thing. Okay, so I know that this final look has nothing to do whatsoever with autumn, but I really wanted to wear this wig. I haven't put it on in a while and um, Halloween. <laughs> this is the finished look. I am so stoked with how it turned out. Um, Probably one of my favorite looks ever. It's that kind of a makeup look that like every time you see your reflection you just look alike. I hope you enjoyed this very impromptu, very spontaneous video. I'll be leaving images and everything on my Instagram uh, page and my Facebook page actually. So check them out down there. I'll put all my social media, media <laughs> links somewhere on the screen so follow me if you really want to. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do give it a um, recreation or like a go, then just let me know. Cool. I will see you in my next video.